intro music. Yeah. Woo. -hoo! Good morning, everybody, and welcome back because today we're launching patch number 50. Big 5 -0, talking with the Admiral Kirk and the cutest. The, the Borg have returned. <laughs> Surprising to many of you, but maybe not if you were paying attention to all the hints that have come out over the past week. And it wasn't even like stuff that Rev was dropping or DJ or it was Scopely. Scopely did. Scopely. To themselves. I didn't even try. Like it was easy. But anyway, let's jump into what this month holds for you in Star Trek Fleet Command, which feature wise and content wise, I am literally excited. I'm not exaggerating and I am. Hopefully they don't screw it up, right? As long as they don't screw it up, we're good. Yay, right? Let's just dive right into it. So as you can see by the picture, we're gonna do a lot of Borg content. This is the first full refresher of the Borg that we've had in some time. For those curious, well, when did we ever do the Borg before? Well, fun fact, the Borg was actually the first ever Battle Pass series in Star Trek Fleet Command. If my memory is serving me correctly, I think it is, which would be going back to 2020 or is it 2021? How long has it been? How long have we been doing battle passes? I think that's about what it was, but here you go. Commanders, the Borg are a silent menace lurking in the dark. Why have they returned? What do they want? Nobody seems to know. Most are wise enough to keep away, but for some, risk is worth it. Almost seems like we're going to have a Ferengi arc, but no, this is it's not Ferengi. Sounds like it. I get it, but it's not. So what you are going to find here, and I'm very curious what people think, we're going to have fleet commanders, Borg solo armadas, which I love the solo armada mechanic. Already have good news for you about to ask. I did ask in our pre-arc preview with the dev team, and they said that the sourcing for Borg armadas is going to be very, very similar to how we're going with solo armadas already with the Bajoran faction. So this is meant to revamp the Borg, give Borg new life, and then also give a sourcing of Borg to be doing it consistently. I like the sound of that so far. Man, now if they can actually just do away with old grinds, maybe old mechanics and give a reason to pursue this as the new feature. Huh, wonder if that's what happens in the near future. We'll just have to wait and see. New officers coming out, of course, missions, et cetera, et cetera. So, the command center I'm excited about. For those who are curious, yes, everybody will procure the command center early on. It's level 15 and up. So for those of you who are always talking about, hey, Scopely, give content to the lower levels. Well, here you go. Even though the Borg is designed around level 35 plus because it's a solo armada mechanic, command center coming out and fleet commanders coming out starting level 15 plus. So even my account will serve for 92 gets new content. Look at that, that's a thumbs up, right? We like that, we appreciate when they're thinking about all of us, like as a community. We like the energy, let's go, play. keep matching. So you'll have that. Now, those curious, you will have three fleet commanders coming out this month, Admiral Kirk, Captain Spock, and Locutus. And the first two that I mentioned, Admiral Kirk and Captain Spock, you'll be able to choose one of them for free in a mission and you will then get to go down that flight path and choose how you want to upgrade their abilities and stuff. We'll go over those trees in another video, obviously, but today focusing on the basics. Now, for those curious, when it comes to the actual mechanics of fleet commanders, we will, of course, go over in a video, but if you end up with two of them, you'll be able to switch between. And as you level up the command center, eventually you'll earn the ability to use two commanders instead of just one, but it will start off at just one for now. Anyway, let's move on through. We'll have their own unique set of abilities and choosing the right ones will be crucial taking on new threats. Now, as it starts off, just letting you know, there are multiple currencies needed to upgrade these abilities and such, as you probably would expect, because it would not be a Star Trek Fleet Command launch without more currencies. Let us know in the Discord how much you want new currencies. I know it's a lot. Everybody wants new currencies. So play the mission Legends of the Cosmos. Choose between Admiral Kirk and Captain Spock to unlock your first choice. If you want to learn more, there is a page. We'll go over that in another video. But there are three. Locutus is not going to be part of that mission series, but he will be made available during this first month. And players who choose to go after him will be able to go after him. Let's move on to the Solar Armada mechanic. We've got a Borg Sphere here. Look at them just getting away from the 100,000 light year Mega Cube and the regular cubes. We're using other items. 
Look at these geometric friends of ours. So solar armadas will have their own systems. There will also be a research in the combat tree needed to open this up. And we'll expand on that a little bit more. There will be a couple little cool tidbits. For those curious though, no. The Defiance abilities do not work against the Borg Solo Armadas. What I mean by that is that the Quantum Torpedo ability it has as a Bajoran favor. Now, if you use its buff ability, you're, we'll be able to buff ships doing Solo Borg Madas, but the Defiant itself will not have that inherent bonus against them. And I did ask for that, and maybe one day a change happens. But as for now, it's just a regular old ship against Borg Solo Armadas. There are new officers coming out, though. I wonder if another ship could be coming that is more important. Hmm. Maybe. Who knows? It's not a hint. That's conjecture. Hugh is here. An epic officer. Below deck ability and an officer ability. And I will go ahead and tell you that I really do like these officers. Even though you only have a couple. Keep in mind, you do have three fleet commanders. Which are kind of officers, but kind of not. Fleet Commanders essentially works as you applying an officer to your base, but only the ones that are Fleet Commanders. So you essentially now do finally have officers for your base, just not the 150 that you already had. But Hughes Below Deck ability is a 45, 50, 60, 70, 100% chance to increase critical hit chance by stacking 45% chance for two rounds when struck by a hostile. Each weapon can trigger this once per attack so if you get hit by three weapons three triggers in that round a critical hit chance booster for below decks wow that's that's good that's that's good and then the officer boat is increasing impulse speed for your ship by five percent seven percent nine twelve and fifteen now for those curious borg synergize with borg we'll cover that and when we do officer videos then you have Galinar, which for those curious, yes, there is actually a really good story behind how this Packlet became a Borg, and it's actually something to really look forward to in this month. The story behind this is hilarious. We've already gotten a little preview of it as content creators, and I'm not trying to blow smoke up Scopely's tailpipe. It really is kind of funny, and you're going to want to check it out. Below deck ability and officer ability. What's theirs is ours, increases the amount of resources dropped by acting Apex and Borg Hostiles by 25, 30, 35, 42, and 50% of their base value. So you talked about making grinds easier. Right here. Here's an officer that does it for two different types of hostile grinds. So slowly helping some of these newer grinds. And the officer ability, you're going to want to pay attention to this, increases faction rep gain from F. K and R by 5, 8, 11, 15, and 20. Something to pay attention to. It's a small ability, but synergizes with something like maybe 5 of 11. We'll try that out. But anything that can increase rep grinding, obviously you're going to run with Titan Road Chen as your standard. But having a second ship that maybe you can send out to rep grind and hostile grind with, very intriguing there. They do have a new projectile coming out, that excitement level. Kind of mid, but a bonus for crit damage against board targets. Obviously, that ties in a little well with Hughes below deck ability. Interesting, interesting. Then you got new missions. You have level 25 plus will get a set of missions. Level 35 plus and level 40 plus. Side missions for 50 plus, as well as side missions starting fleet commanders with 15 plus. So you do have a special set of missions for just high levels. The average set of players will get uh, the core and then if you're 40 plus you'll get all the core missions and then there you go the hall deck will also be receiving these additions the lower decks part one series as well as quark and his companions for that new battle pass we'll say the battle pass i've already seen the preview in terms of value i think it's pretty good we'll go through that in its own video new avatars and frames you've got a green gaia there which is basically basically borg but as you can imagine our good friend beck likes plants is in love with it so then you got the Avatar Borg Maya, Admiral Kirk, Officer Borg Galinar, Captain Spock, Officer Hugh, the cutest, and then the frames Borg Alcove, Borg Galinar, Man Center, and Epic Cutest. And then you got a few bug fixes here and improvements. But that's the meat of it. I personally am a fan. There is also more in the Borg here than we see in the patch notes. I'm really going to look forward to showing that to everybody, but 
I don't know why it's not in here. Unless it's not happening. I mean, I, I believe it is. I, I got told it was. So I'm going to say in this video. New sourcing for Borg coming out in the new Borg unveil. Why is that not included in the patch note? Well, if they tell me to take this video down because I messed up, oh well. But what's included in this Borg coming forward is that you're actually going to have a permanent sourcing path for Borg officers now. Yes! Two solar armadas. This whole Borg mechanic is getting a redo. The Borg refinery getting a facelift. Just, the patch notes just don't say enough. But anyway, there's Borg solar armadas. But Borg as a... I don't want to call it a faction, but Borg as an implementation in the game is getting some more love including sourcing for officers long term we like that so really excited to see what this looks like moving forward for this month as well as months after this there you go and yeah that's it as long as the event structures and everything works out fine and there's no massive crashes this should be a good month this should be a very good month we'll just have to wait and see let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you like what you've seen so far like the video Join us on Twitch if you're watching this in the morning this comes out. Twitch, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be doing our Battle Pass giveaway. You're going to want to be there. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces. That's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek Fleet Command video and live stream. Share it out with your friends. Let them know that we're live. Let them know we're here. Hit that subscribe button. Deuces. That's me. We out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.